Hello everyone, how are we doing today? Today's video is going to show you how to make a 3D extra large face mask. This is my original size face mask, which is, this is the large. And this is the video that we are showcasing today is for the extra large size 3D face mask. So if you like this video, definitely stay tuned and let's get started. This is a long time coming video for those of you that want to learn how to do the extra large 3D face mask. I have a template for you guys to create your own. So today I just want to show you that it's going to be really simple and easy. And I'm going to show you a couple of shortcuts today to make it much easier for you to create your mask in under 12 minutes maybe 15 okay give or take depending on if you have a mistake with the thread or not so we are going to start to make our template so this is a template that you create at home it's going to be really simple really easy and you can create it out of a piece of copy paper or cardstock that is eight and a half by eleven now, since you have this already eight and a half by 11, my other 3D mask that I have made, which is the child's 3D mask and the large 3D mask, I'll put the links down below. So then you can go and see those masks too. If you want to create some for your grandchildren, your, your young ones, or, you know, give them away as to, you know, your coworkers or somebody, you know, that looks better in a mask that is more stylish. So, first thing we're going to do, I'm going to fold this in half, and I'm going to make sure that this lines up perfect. And I'm going to crease it, and then we are going to create our template. So you wanna make sure that both sides are lined up perfect, and that looks even. So now you want to bring in your ruler, And you want to mark each corner. So we have two corners now, okay? Since we fold it, you're only going to have to cut twice instead of four times. So in each corner, you want to mark two and a quarter down. And make a little dot and then two and a quarter on the side above over here. And then you're going to take your ruler and join the two dots together. And you want to do the same on the other side. And then take your ruler and join the dots together. And then join the other dots together. And you can take either your scissors or your paper trimmer or whichever you would like. But I'm going to use my rotary cutter. And I'm just going to take this and cut this out. And now... We have our template that is an extra large size, okay, guys? Now, this will fit people that have bigger, fuller faces, especially men, for a different size, okay? Now, we're going to take this, and I'm going to cut out the material, and you are going to need... I already cut them out, so we're going to need one material, and then I have a Muslim cotton, which makes it easier and it's more breathable than having two materials like I did on my first video, okay? I've changed this up over the months, and it's so much better this way, guys. So now, next thing you want to do 
is for man size. I usually cut out seven and a half inches, but I'm going to cut out seven and three quarters inches since this is a bigger mask. And here goes my elastic. And this elastic is a quarter inch thick, okay? So now I want to bring in my heat mat. And you can save this for later so you can make others, okay, guys? So this is, let me write this down really quick. 11 by 8 and a half. And then you mark 2 and a quarter inch in on both sides. And then you join the lines together. Okay, so now that I got my heat mat. I want to put on my heat press, which this is from Cricut, or you can use your homemade iron, your house iron, anything to iron out this straight. This is pretty awesome. It fits my son. It's a little bit bigger on my son. He's a little bit, he has more of a fuller face, but the older you, the bigger you are, the more filling it will be. And I know everybody been wanting this. You know, I'm going to bring my other mat in. Okay, so now I'm going to bring that in. And this is almost preheated. And you want to take out all of the wrinkles. So when you go to iron, it irons totally flat. Don't you love this material? Oh my God, I love it. It's perfect for men. Then I'm going to show you some easy tricks to cut this in half like i said earlier in the video for you to only have to make not even 10 minutes i say 10 maybe 15 minutes so now that my heat press is on i'm going to iron this out then i have my muslim which is right sides together now okay guys when you put them together right sides together and then i'm going to take this to my machine and i am going to sew a quarter inch seam allowance all the way around from this corner all the way around back stitching over here all the way around to right here back stitch and do the bottom also and i'm going to show you that right now Okay, everyone so now we are at my machine and now i'm gonna take my two layers that i have and i'm gonna sew a quarter inch all the way around and you're gonna see exactly what i'm doing okay so i have a uh, i think this is called a seam So I use this so it'll be easier for me to sew really quick, or not quick, but keep it at a quarter inch seam allowance that I need. So, so from here, where the middle of my arrow to the edge that is a quarter inch from my machine. So let me bring you guys in a little bit more. And now I'm just going to roll up my chair and I am going to start sewing this down. And I just want to make sure that everything is even. And now I'm just going to sew. And I'm going to back stitch. And then I'm going to sew all the way down to the edge. Pausing it right there. Then I'm going to have the needle sticking face down. I mean down into the material. Then I want to lift up my lever and I want to pivot. But I see that I need one more turn and now I'm going to pivot and then I'm going to do a quarter inch from that corner to this corner. And I'm going to pivot again and I'm going to sew down and I'm going to back stitch all the way in the bottom. Okay, I'm going to do the same to the other side. 
and you can leave it connected, okay? Because this is how you go and make your mask in less than 10, 15 minutes. So then you want to backstitch it. Then you want to keep on making sure it all lines up straight now, okay? Then you want to pivot and sew the bottom, and that's going to join the two materials together. Next step is cut all your tails off of your strings. And then now, you want to fold this over, you want to line this up, and you want to cut. Now, this don't line up, but that's all right, because I have it within the same allowance that I'm going to have, I mean, that I'm going to sew. Then I'm going to do the same with this. And then now with this, you want to turn this inside out. And there goes the start of your large face mask. So now you want to take your iron and iron this all flat. Okay. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to move this to the side. And then I'm going to iron this all the way flat. So make sure that everything's even. Okay, you want to bring your iron over and iron it flat because then the next step is to do the top stitch all the way around. I mean, you have to crease fold it and it's going to be super easy. So with that being said, let me bring you guys a little bit more down. Okay, so now I'm creasing all of this. Making sure that everything's laying flat and even. Do the other side. And this is the last corner. And then give it a nice press out of the whole thing. And then now what you want to do is fold this up from the corner. That's why you want to make sure that everything's lined up even because if the edges is a little bit off, your whole mask will be off. So I want to add it to the corner, very to the tip tip corner on both sides. Okay. And then I'm going to pass the iron. Then I'm going to do the same with the other side. To the very tip. And this is the first step after you turn, turn your material around. So if you want, you could trim this off. And then I'm going to bring it back to my sewing machine. And we are going to sew one eighth inch on down here on both sides and also on the top part okay so let me bring you back up to my sewing machine now i got it at one eighth inch So now I'm going to bring this out to one eighth 
and you can lengthen your stitch by three and a half because this is not sealing the material together this is just a top stitch so it'll be perfect so you want to put it right under then you want to back stitch and then we are going to go and I'm going to back stitch right here And then you want to do the other side. And then without cutting your string, you want to rotate this over and do a 1 8 inch top stitch on the top part of your mask and this right here is what saves you a lot of time doing this part so easy so you don't need to do it all the way from here at the beginning that's why i showed you something different than my original video and then the next step is is that we're going to zigzag the sides to seal all the raw edges. Now you wanna cut the string out and then definitely cut all of this out, all that extra string. Now it all lays flat and now I'm gonna take it back to my sewer and I'm gonna do a zigzag stitch. So now with the zigzag button, you wanna back stitch and take it all the way down to the other side. And then you want to cut it out. And do the other side. And it's simple, quick, and easy. Like I said, if you're doing multiples, it'll take you a little bit longer. But let me tell you something. This face mask is, is so easy to make. So comfortable. Okay. So there goes that. So now I'm going to take you back to my table which is my mat, and I'm gonna show you what else to do. So now the next step is your elastic. Now I found it much easier for you to add the elastic in before you do anything. And then you just wanna fold it over and you wanna make sure there's a triangle in the middle because that's what makes it easier for you to fold. So don't cover it completely like this, okay? Leave it like a triangle in the middle. You see that right there? And now I'm going to sew this in and I'm going to do the other side too. So I don't need my seam. And I wanna take it off for a the zigzag stitch and now I'm going to sew this up so with the elastic already in there and now I just want to back stitch it from the beginning and then go all the way down and back stitch it at the bottom and you want to do that to the other side Same thing, fold it, leave it in a triangle. So this one, there's like no measurements at all, which is even better because you just can go. Okay, and then going all the way down. And 
and back stitching. Okay, now for pretty much the last part, the second to last part is I am going to tie this together and it's easy to tie together. Okay, and then you pull it really tight to make sure that it seals tight and then you run it through the chamber that you made, which the reason why I styled it this way, elastic, it gets wear down. Especially when you wash it or when you wear it a lot, it wears down. And with that, you could buy extra elastic and you can just weed it through and then you have a new set of elastic and you don't have to worry about buying a new mask or, or losing, you know, your money after you pay, pay so much for a mask. Okay, and now I'm gonna put this through. And then next, I'm gonna bring my heat back, mat back in. And now I want to fold this. And you wanna fold it up. And pulling these tabs, okay, guys, and making them even. Everything needs to be set even. If not, it will be off. Then you want to pull this side and that side and crease it down. And now you want to bring your heat press or your iron and iron it down nice and flat. And then now, I have these hair curling pins. Uh, you could get these from Amazon. I also have the Wonder Clips, but the Wonder Clips I didn't have enough of, and I spent a lot of money on these, so I decided to get these in replace also. And these, they work good, guys. They work terrific. So now I want to take this and make sure that it lays flat, and then clip it. And that holds your material in place. And then you want to do the same with the other side. I used to use these things back in New York to make the little bolitos in my hair. Every time we used to wash our hair to make it nice and curly, we would do little ringlets and then clip these into our hair. And when your hair air dries, oh my God, your hair will be looking beautiful. And you see how that looks? Okay, guys, so now I'm going to take it back to the machine. And I am going to sew the lips. I'm going to sew this edge together. So I want you guys to look, okay? And I'm going to bring you guys a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. So now you want to raise up your needle, okay? Because you want this to go under... And what you want to do is line it up to like almost the edge, but not really at the edge, just about there. And then you want to start one, two, three, stop it, back stitch, do it again. And to make sure it's secure, back stitch one more time. And then raise it up. Leave it connected because you're going to do the other side the same way, okay? So you just want to push it up. Take the hair clip out, push it down, start sewing a couple of stitches, back stitch, go a couple of times, back stitch again, and then you are done on this side. Now you wanna take your scissors and just clip that off. You wanna do the other side the same way. Okay, and then we're going to do the last side. And then back stitching. 
And I do it a couple of times just to reinforce that stitch because you are going to be using it a lot and you will be pulling it away from your face. So to keep the stitches, I kind of stitch it out more than once. And then I want to cut this out. So now I'm going to bring it back to the table. Okay, so now I'm back at the table. And now what you want to do is cut all your extra lines. Extra lines, extra thread. You want to snip there, snip there, snip there, turn them around. And then what I do, just in case, because you never know, sometimes the stitching, it takes in, sometimes it don't. So the last thing I do to make sure that it's good to go, is pull it and make sure that it is sealed. And that looks sealed. So there goes the extra large mask, which I'm going to show you the difference. This is a large and this is an extra large. And of course I have the small and then this is the kid small. So as you can see, it varies in sizes. This is the extra large. This is the large and this is the small. I would call this to be medium large because depending on your size face, it might be a little bit too big or too small. So there goes the three different sizes. And I have all three of these videos besides this one, which you are seeing right now. These two will be down in the description box below. Okay, guys, so this is the three versions of the 3D face mask that I have made. These two, I will share a link below in the description box. And this is the extra large face mask for men or for people that have bigger and wider faces, which this fits really good on a whole lot of men. But this is universal if it for men and women, depending on the size of their face. And of course, this is a child's ch a face mask. So thank you so much for watching. If you like, comment subscribe i so do appreciate it and until next time i'll see you guys in 2021 bye